Hello everyone. Isang question tayo no for partnership operations. Tignan natin. I-analyze nga natin itong question na ito. This is an adapted question from Sir Antonio Dayag's Practical Accounting na Reviewer. Okay, we have partners CC, PP, and AA, which are all accountants, and they agreed to form a partnership and to share profits in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2. They also agreed that si partner AA will be allowed a salary of 28,000 and that PP is to be guaranteed 21,000 as his share of the profits. Take note of the term guaranteed. Okay, ano ba ibig nito sabihin? During the first year of operations, income from fees are 180,000 while expenses total 96,000 pesos. What amount of net income should be credited to each partner's capital account? Papaano paghahati-hatian? Okay, ang net income sa tatlong partners. Ang choices, si, sa letter A, 28,000 kay partner CC, 16,800 kay partner PP, and 11,200 kay partner AA. Sa letter B, 25,000, 21,000, and 38,000 respectively. Sa letter C, oh, 24,000 kay partner CC, 22,000 kay partner PP, and 38,000 naman kay partner AA. At sa letter D, 25K, 21K, and 39K respectively. Okay, so alamin natin ano, kung paano ito i-distribute. Pero, bago ang lahat, we have to determine magkano ang net income or the net profit. Kasi, hindi siya given sa problem. Pero, madali lang naman ito isolve. Alam naman ninyo ano, that revenue less expenses equals your net profit or loss. Ang revenue natin dito ay itong income from fees na 180,000. Okay, so pag ma-minus lang natin yung 180,000 at saka yung 96,000, so, para magawa natin yan, ano? Okay, so we will have to put the figures. Okay, so income from fees less expenses, magkano ba yan? The answer here is, okay, 84,000 ang net profit. Minus lang natin, 180,000 minus 96,000. So, eto na ang magiging basis ng distribution ng net profit or net loss. Okay, so, papaano na natin ngayon ito i-allocate sa mga partners? Okay, so, una natin gawin is, ilagay natin ano, yung mga pangalan ng mga partners. Si CC, si PP, at saka si AA. Okay, now, ang ginawa ko dito ano, ay for the sake of determining, okay, yung basis ng kanilang distribution, ang sabi kasi, 5 is to 3 is to 2, ang kanilang ratio, ano? So, ang total nito ay 10. 5 plus 3 plus 2 equals 10. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, in terms of um, fractions, 5 over 10, 3 over 10, and 2 over 10. O kaya naman, in terms of percentages, 50%, 30%, and 20%. Okay? So, ng ngayon, ang gawin natin is, ilagay natin ano, kung ano yung mga naka-require. Ano yung given sa problem? Una, ang salary daw, okay, ay iaalaw kay partner AA. Magkano yon? 28,000 pesos. Meron pa ba? Sa salary, wala na. Si, letter, si partner PP at saka si partner CC, wala naman. So, ang salary allocation natin ay 28,000. Now, take note that the net profit, ang paghahati-hatian ay 84,000. Okay? Such that, pag kinuha natin yung difference, okay, ng, uh, ng 84,000 at saka ng 28,000, that is 56,000 pesos. 84 minus 28. Yan yung ating tinatawag na balance. Wala naman kasi dito ang interest allocation, bonus allocation. Okay? Yun nga lang, ano ba ang sabi sa kay partner PP? Guaranteed siya ng 21,000. So, lagay ko nga muna dito sa baba. 21,000, ito yung guarantee. Ito yung matatanggap ni partner PP. 
regardless sa allocation ng profit. Okay? Eh, meron tayong balance dito. If we will distribute this according to their profit or loss sharing ratio na 5 is to 3 is to 2, oh, so anong gagawin natin? 56,000 times 5 divided by 10, ang sagot for partner CC sa balance distribution ay 28,000. Kay partner PP naman, oh, 56,000 times 3 divided by 10, ang masasagot natin dyan ay 16,800. Kay partner AA naman dyan, 56,000 times 2 over 10 or 20%, ang ia-allocate natin sa kanya ay 11,200. Okay, so yun na ba? Is it just like that? We have to total, no? Remember that ang guarantee, pag sinabi natin guarantee, for sure, sigurado yan dapat ang matatanggap. E sa balance distribution, 16,800 lang yan. Kulang tayo. Magkano ang kulang? E kunin natin difference ng 21,000 at saka 16,800. Ang kulang pa ni partner PP ay 4,200. Okay? O saan manggagaling itong 4,200? Idadagdag ba natin yan? Or papaano ba? Eh, remember na 84,000 ito. Okay, yan na yung net profit. So, wala tayong effect dito ano, sa total. It is a matter of movement from one partner to another. So, kung kulang ng 4,200, eh di bawasan natin yung kay CC at saka yung kay AA. Okay? So, papaano yung babawasan? Papaano i-distribute? Eh di kunin natin yung ratio ni partner CC at saka ni partner AA. 5 at saka 2. Disregard natin si partner PP yung kanyang 3. So that, ang gagawin natin dito, 4,200 times 5 divided by 7. Okay? Hindi divided by 2 ha? Kasi 5 plus 2 equals 7. Yun yung denominator mo. Ulitin ko lang, 4,200 times 5 divided by 7. Okay? Ibabawas natin yung 3,000. That is the answer. Ano? Tatanggalin natin yan sa total ni partner CC. Kay partner AA naman, 4,200 times 2 divided by 7. Yung total nitong dalawa. Ang tatanggalin naman natin, ang ibabawas natin kay partner AA ay 1,200. Okay? Such that, pag kinumpute natin yan, o 28,000 minus 3,000, 25,000 yan. Yung kay partner AA naman, 28,000 plus 11,200 minus 1,200. The answer is 38,000. Double check natin yan. 25,000 plus 21,000 plus 38,000. Okay, that is 84,000 which is correct. Ito yung paghahatian. That is why the answer for this question is letter oh, letter B. 30, uh, 25,000 kay C. 21,000 kay P and 38,000 kay A. Okay? So, that is the answer for this question. And I hope you were able to follow ano, this question. Ang unique natin dito is because of the guarantee. Okay? Now, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to assist you. Until then, bye-bye.